<laughs> All right, let's check in with Nicole Hass. Nicole wishes there was sun this weekend. Unfortunately, Nicole, we're looking at some dreary conditions, but you still have some events for us tomorrow. We do, and you know the orange, orange here definitely does brighten up a dreary yes, day, and uh, so does warm barbecue and warm pretzels. So tomorrow in downtown Freeport, it is our third annual pretzel fest. And regardless of the weather, we are going to bring the best sunshiny day to downtown Freeport. So pretzel fest returns to Chicago Avenue between Main Street and Stevenson Street. So right in the heart of downtown, we um, have barbecue competitions that will be going on throughout the morning. So you might smell really fantastic food. Mm. And what they make first is the what is judged but around 12 31 o'clock they are going to have some pork loin available and that is what they're going to sample for people's choice awards so grab a pretzel we have two different soft pretzel uh, vendors ben's pretzel from the rockford area and then uh, wrapped with smoke barbecue from our area is going to be having uh, a number of toppings available for your soft pretzels um, and then try some barbecue and to vote for your favorite you put in a couple bucks whoever has the most money in their bucket at the end of the sampling time will win for People's Choice Awards. And all of the proceeds from that will go to uh, downtown plantings for the summer months. Right. In addition to the barbecue tasting, the soft pretzels, we also have performances um, from Ukulele Express 815. That's a local ukulele group who are absolutely amazing, formerly, formerly Pretzel City Strummers. And then we have Progressive Fighting Concepts, which is a uh, local martial arts group having all of their different um, competition groups on hand um, in our demonstration area to do that about two o'clock. And then at three o'clock, uh, we have, um, you know, when you think about pretzels, you think about being twisted up. So <laughs> we have yoga in the street at three o'clock from your core being and two of their fabulous trainers to show us to how to untwist ourselves on this pretzel day. In addition to that, we've got great vendors. Pretzel is not only just a food here in Freeport, it's also the mascot. So <laughs> Freeport High School, as well as a lot of their other uh, teams, the boys basketball team, um, also the Freeport Park District. We have face painting going on from the Pearl City Art Club. New this year, we also have mobile ax throwing. So what? if you have not tried your hand at axe throwing, this is your opportunity because we're bringing it to you, downtown Freeport. We're bringing it downtown. So okay. lots of great things that happen. And it's not supposed to rain. It just might be a little chillier than today. <laughs> and uh, everything else we bring to brighten it up. I love the optimism. So the mobile axe throwing, yeah. the target's not moving while is we're throwing the axe throwing on moving. the go? No. Or... <laughs> yeah, they just bring it to you. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And I love the T-shirt. Are people able to buy those t-shirts tomorrow? You know, these actually um, were made for uh, the Freeport School District because it says uh, Freeport Pretzels on it. They are available at Zealous Art Studio on uh -huh. Stevenson Street downtown. So this one I got for the very first year, um, my very first pretzel shirt. So <laughs> I have to wear it every year. We love it. And uh, oh, oh, and Nicole, I uh, see on the flyer that you have pretzel themed activities. What do those entail? Oh, so between face painting, um, the school district also brings down a number of their uh, summer programming materials and a lot of great swag for people who um, are either in the school district or maybe looking to the school district looking for other summer activities. Also the same for the park district. They've got a lot of great um, themed activities. We have pretzel necklaces for people who want to come <laughs> and have uh, you know snack while they're walking hands free. Um, and then we also have pretzel ring toss and a lot of the downtown businesses have pretzel themed merchandise or other treats in their stores as well. All right. My mouth is watering thinking about the barbecue competition mm -hmm. and the pretzels. So let's shift gears to more food. Restaurant week is coming up too. Yeah. More food. That also starts tomorrow. Stevenson County restaurant week begins tomorrow and it's always a great kickoff with uh, pretzel fest but it actually runs for an entire week or eight days hmm. so it runs through next sunday and we have dozens of amazing restaurants at stevenson county and i know i myself also get into the rut of going to the same ones over and over hmm. and restaurant week is a great reminder of some of the other restaurants that we have in town who you maybe 
don't frequent as often or you've passed by or maybe haven't gone to in a really long time, um, or some new menu options. We've got a couple of uh, restaurants listed for Restaurant Week this year who have really gone outside of the box of what they normally offer to be able to produce those menu features for this week. So um, continue to go to greaterfreeport.com slash restaurant week and you'll find the complete guide of restaurants. Some are featured and then we have a complete listing of all restaurants in Stevenson County available in that booklet as well. And we hope to continue to bring you more information on those features. If you follow us on social media, either Instagram or Facebook, we'll keep rolling those out because there's so many, it's hard to cover them, you know, even in just a weekend, <laughs> mm -hmm. we need that full eight days. I was gonna say, if you could estimate how many restaurants are participating. We have, let's see, I'm counting up the number of pages. We have 25 <laughs> that are participating, okay. but overall in Stevenson County, we have close to 100. I want to say it's wow. 97 restaurants in Stevenson County. So, and it runs the gamut too. I mean, we have Higher Grounds Coffee to uh, the Wagner House, which is actually just bringing out a brand new menu that starts today, um, featuring fish and steaks and uh, flatbreads, a lot of great stuff to um, the Muse on Cedar Creek that does a lot of fancy new things as well as wraps and, and breakfast and brunch uh, to some of our breweries who have uh, things that are on special. It's really just such a wide range that you can make multiple stops in a day. I was I'm, gonna say, I'm probably can't sure. get to 100 in one week, but mm. it's good to at least get the mind thinking about, you know, the future for sure too. Yeah. A two to of, three, if yeah. that's everybody's goal is to hit two to three this week, I am very happy. All right, great. Well, thank you, Nicole. If people want more information on these, where should they go? Greaterfreeport.com slash events gets you more information on Pretzel Fest. And if you go to greaterfreeport.com slash restaurant week, that'll take you to that specific guide since those are both featured on our website specifically. 815-233-1350 if you'd rather get a hold of us by phone. All right, thank you for keeping us well fed, Nicole. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Happy Earth Day. We will be right back.